Well, good morning, my fellow brothers. Walking the semen retention journey. It is Saturday, April 8th, just before 8 a.m. And I want to congratulate you brothers who have learned the truth on your semen retention journey. And you threw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which was corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, you have let the Holy Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. You have put on your new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. Congratulations, guys, and I must congratulate myself for it. Six months today, semen retention, no physical relapse at all. And we'll talk about that why later in the video. And you might be wondering, who is this guy standing in front of his Corvette? That's me. That's me before the semen retention journey. Jason Brown, brother Jason, how are you, buddy? You wanted to know what I look like. Well, here I am without the face because I do want to remain anonymous. Due to the personal information I have shared with everyone on my YouTube channel, It would be a little bit embarrassing if someone linked me to that and knew some very personal details, such as when I was 26, my girlfriend and I had an abortion. Yep, I committed murder. That is very personal. I talked about it in my Christmas video, guys. But anyway... This is me before the journey, before I started retaining. I am much more in shape, less fat, more defined. I can't can't do anything about the skinny legs, guys. They will be with me forever. No weight training or anything bulks them up. It just I just don't have the genes to have muscular legs. And I don't have the Corvette anymore. I have sold that. And I'll tell you why in the video. So let's get to it. Guys, this video is going to be a bit longer because there's a lot to cover and a six-month update. So for the people that don't want to watch the whole thing, I'm going to go through some questions and answers and uh, basically a recap. And then I'll go into detail later in the video so if you don't want to continue watching you can leave after this but I'm going to go through these questions first do I have less of a desire for material things yes do I have more energy yes am I more motivated yes am I in better physical shape yes am I more confident yes can I stare people in the eye yes Have things gone my way more than usual? Yes. Am I in better financial shape? Yes. Is my hair thicker and fuller? Yes. Are the whites of my eyes pure white? No. Have I experienced female attraction? Not really. Do people respect me more and call me sir more? Yes. Do I have a better relationship with God? Yes. Am I more spiritual and have a gift of discernment? Yes. Can I see people more for what they really are instead of being deceived? Yes. Is my life overall better now than before I was retaining? Yes. Do people notice me and stare at me more? Yes. Has my attitude and state of mind changed? Yes. Well, guys, that's the recap of the video, the summary. Now I am going to talk a little bit about each of these in more detail. So I apologize for the long video, but this is a six-month update, which is a pretty big milestone. Now, guys, I must say this is my first attempt at retaining, and I've gone six months. I know some of you might think that's impossible or maybe you don't believe me but you have to believe me I'm telling you the truth I am 52 
and I'll be 53 very soon here in a couple weeks, May 3rd, I'll be 53. I believe I've been able to retain six months because of my age and I don't have the sex libido, I guess it's called, or the, or the sex drive. I mean, that a young, when I, I can remember my 20s, I was burning with lust and it overwhelmed me. So you young guys, I understand it's hard. But for us old men, which I was called an old man uh, yesterday, <laughs> we have it much easier. We don't have the sex energy, I guess. It's not as intense, so we can retain and control it better. Yeah, I was delivering uh, McDonald's to a on an Uber Eats delivery, and a little boy, probably... I don't know, four or five, six years old, was sitting on the porch playing and his mom was there. So I brought him their McDonald's and and the little boy was all excited because he was, was waiting for his food. And he goes, oh, mom, look, our food's here. And an old man brought it. And yeah, you know, I am old. That's life, guys. We're all gonna, if you're young now, you will be old soon, sooner than you think. And then... Uh, you're going to die and leave this body. So it's a good time to retain. If you do want to be like God, righteous and holy, you may not want to. You may want to be a dark, evil soul. There are people that choose the dark and they like it and they live in it. They live in darkness. They live in lust and greed and envy and that's their way of life. But if you're a retainer, I think you've realized you want to be a soul of light and love. So, first, do I have less of a desire for material things? Yes. Well, guess what? I sold that Corvette, you guys. Yep. Sold it. When I was dating my girlfriend, I purchased it in 20... What was it? 2021? Um, I think it was October 2021 I bought it. You know, it, I maybe I was going through that midlife crisis where men buy a sports car that they wanted when they were young. But guess what? The material things wear off. Semen retention is a spiritual journey. And you start to search for spiritual nourishment of your soul. The material things, you... They don't, they become less important. So the Corvette, I, I, I was looking at it and I'm like, I don't even like it anymore. I don't even want it. I really enjoyed it <clears throat> for the time I had it. And then at the end, I just didn't want it after I started. It ha happened after I started the semen retention journey, you guys, six months ago. So I sold it to CarMax. I went in, I said, what can you guys give me for it? They gave me a price. I said, done. It was gone, and I'm glad it's gone. That goes to, now I, I, there's another, I'll talk about finances, and we'll talk about the Corvette later. But question two, do I have more energy? Yes. If you've listened to SR videos on YouTube, everyone talks about it. It's true. Now, I think the reason you have more energy is, you're not giving your energy to the lust. When you're lusting, looking at dirty material on the screen, you're fapping, you're giving your energy away, even if you don't release. You're sitting there scrolling through pictures and videos for hours maybe, you're giving away your energy, your spiritual energy. And then when you release your physical energy. So when you stop that, when you are no longer a slave to lust, you have energy because you're not giving it away to lust. So you have it for you. Question three, am I more motivated? Yes. I have two jobs now. I have my main career sales job. I'm a sales manager at a very small company. 
been there quite a while. And then I have my Uber Eats side gig, guys. So 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. in the morning, I'm up. I try to get two, three deliveries. Sometimes I get more. And then I go to work at my normal sales job from 8 a.m. till uh, maybe 9 a.m., eight, eight, between 8 and 9 till noon. And then I run out and I try to get one or two lunch deliveries on my lunch break, come back, work till 5, and then after 5, I go out and I do two or three more deliveries. And then on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I work all day and make money. I'm single, no kids, no girlfriend, no commitments. It's me and God. And, and you, my brothers, I love you guys. The ones that pray for me and encourage me and support me and listen to me. And I'm praying for you. I love you guys. Question, am I in better physical shape? Yes. Now, you saw my picture. That was before I was retaining. Um, and since then, I'm down to about, I'm, I'm kind of maintaining 168 pounds going to the gym. <clears throat> I'm practicing fasting, weight training, a little bit of cardio. So my body mass is transforming. I noticed in the mirror this morning, I, I'm seeing a slow transformation. It's weird how it's evolving. It'll look great, and then it starts looking not so great, and then it looks great again. It's, it's transforming into a solid cut body, and the fat is very slow coming off because of my age. Lots of dieting and fasting and working out. But I am in better physical shape, yes. Am I more confident? Yes. Now, you guys have watched all the SR videos on confidence. It comes with semen retention because you don't have the shame attached to your soul anymore. When you were a fapper, I, for me at least, guys, when I would indulge in it and release I felt shame because it's dark and the darkness gives you the shame so yes you will be more confident your posture gets better you walk with confidence the the confidence is there I just don't know what else to say about that can I stare people in the eye? Yes. You're so confident and you feel so pure that you can stare at anyone without shame or nervousness. But you got to be careful. I don't stare at people anymore. It was causing problems, especially with the men. And then I realized looking at people in the eye, there's an energy exchange. And I don't want to give away my energy. So... <clears throat> What I do now is I avoid eye contact with strangers that I don't want to give energy to. I only make eye contact with who I'm interacting with at the moment. Now that doesn't say I don't look at people, of course. You can't avoid that, but I don't look them in the eye. Men were getting aggressive with me. Literally. And I wasn't acting aggressive. I'd just stare them in the eye and you would get some weird reactions from some guys. They would look at you like they wanted to fight you. Very bizarre. Um, have things gone my way more than usual? Yes. I'll give a few examples. I had a friend, a long-term friend. I've known him, gosh, six, seven years. He's an electrician by trade. He owns his own electrical company. He uh, just volunteered to come into my condo and put in all new lighting and a new bathroom exhaust fan and ceiling fans for free. He bought all the materials. He brought, brought his crew in one day and did it. I couldn't believe it. Just volunteered. Um, didn't ask for any money. He knew I couldn't really afford it. 
God bless him. I will be going to Easter service with him tomorrow, hopefully. Um, what else has gone my way? My sales job, my main career. I'm selling. Not as much as I'd like to, but I am selling. The business is coming in. I received a nice cost of living raise this year without even asking. First time I've gotten a raise in seven years, six or seven years, guys. So it was significant, very significant. It gave me a salary that I really needed because of the inflation. You guys all know about the inflation, the cost of living, the value of the dollar doesn't buy as much. Everything's more expensive. So I really did need that. Um, what else has gone my way? Finance, well, that's the other question is finance. We'll talk about that. That's the next question. Am I in better financial shape? Yes. Since I started the SR journey, I have been doing the Uber Eats delivery as a second job. I got a raise at work. I sold the Corvette. That Selling the Corvette relieved me of a monthly payment and the maintenance on the Corvette is very expensive. I didn't realize that when I bought it, but uh, shock absorbers are $800 each plus labor because they're special electronic ride control shocks. Tires are $1,300 for a set of new tires. Uh, what else? It's just, it's like, you know, you have a sports car, it costs more to maintain. I don't have that anymore. Now I have, oh, the gas mileage. Driving around town, you're getting 12 miles to the gallon. And gas is like, right now it's $5, but it was $6 a gallon uh, last year. So, I mean, you're burning through hundreds of dollars a month in gas. So I got rid of the Corvette. <clears throat> and I bought a Chevy Volt. It's an electric plug-in hybrid car. <laughs> From a Corvette to an EV. So yes, I'm in better financial shape. Just by swapping cars. Um, also, I've got the second Uber income coming in. And I am not frivolously spending money. Next question. Is my hair thicker and fuller? Yes. It took over 100 days, but after about 100 days, it just came in thicker and fuller. And it's wonderful. It looks like my hair from 10 years ago. My hair was getting thin and straight and wasn't looking very good. Now it's I've got my wave and thickness back. I love it. Are the whites of my eyes pure white? No. I wish they would be. Maybe they will be over time. But I still see red, you know, vessels in them. They haven't cleared up. They're not pure white. But uh, I'll let you know if that ever happens. Have I experienced female attraction? Why? I, I say not really because I have experienced a few instances. I made a video on one. The main one was when I was at a sales conference. And I talk about the female attraction in that video. But it's really no more than what I used to get. Which is not very much. Because I am older. Who wants... You know, let's face it, guys. I mean... When you're in your 50s, you are old. The only women that are going to be attracted to you are women in your age bracket, in their 50s or, or older, 60s. But most of them aren't looking for a partner. They're already married or they're done with dating. So you don't, young girls don't really, they're not attracted to you guys. No matter how good looking you may be. They might look at you and think you're nice looking, but, you know, there's no interest to want to 
flirt with you or be with you, though you may receive that attention. So the female attraction for me at age 52 is not like some of these guys talking about in these SR videos on YouTube, these young guys who say, I'm 30 days retaining and the female attraction is off the charts. I mean, it's okay, if you know, maybe so, not for me. Okay, next question. Do people respect me more and call me sir more? Yes, I definitely noticed that being called sir a lot by men and women. I've had women open the doors for me, beautiful young women. Just open the door and smile at me. A lot of that, more than once. It's, it's quite amazing. Um, they seem to be, you know, like for example, I was at the self-checkout lane at the grocery store where you do your own self-checkout and I wanted to get cash back and the assistant, a nice young woman, assisted me. She came up and I didn't even ask. She came up, she goes, would you like a bag? And I said, no, but... You know, can you help me out? And they just, people just seem open and ready to help you. Um, can't think of other examples, but they have happened. <clears throat> Do I have, <clears throat> next question. <clears throat> Do I have a better, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice, guys. <clears throat> Do I have a better relationship with God? Yes, for sure. It's a spiritual journey. I have started reading scripture more, praying more, and just attempting to become holy and righteous and become like God. Because Ephesians 4, verse 24 does say, put on your new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. And you know, I was thinking about that. If you... In the human world, you procreate and you have sex with a woman and you get her pregnant. She has a child. That child has your seed. That child was created by her egg and your seed. So that child has your blood and your DNA and hers too. And you love your children. I would hope you do. Well, God created us. So we have God in us. But it's even more than the physical. It's a spiritual. It's like God gave part of his spirit. He put that our spirit is from God. So we, in a way, are God in part. We're not God. No one will be. But we are part of God. If he made us and breathed life into our flesh. So... Yes, I have a better relationship with God, but I think that's a lifelong process, guys. You evolve. It's like a human relationship. The longer you're with a, a partner, a spouse, or a girlfriend, you become more and more attached. You have a deeper, longer relationship. Same thing with God. The longer you have a relationship, it evolves and it gets deeper. Okay, next question. Am I more spiritual and have a gift of discernment? Yes. You, on your SR journey, start to feel other people's energy. You also start to discern between good and evil. You can actually feel it. Guys, it's so incredible. I've made several videos on this, so I won't go into it too much, but you can feel people's energy. You can feel dark energy. You can feel positive energy. Guys, I can be in my car driving and feel people's energy in cars that are around me. Just by the way they're driving, you can tell what kind of spirit is in that person. There's a lot of angry, violent people out there that have darkness in them. You can tell by the way they, they drive. <laughs> and you know, other people can uh, feel your energy too. I'm going to make a, probably a separate video about it, but 
one quick example. I will go park somewhere waiting for an Uber Eats delivery to come in. So maybe I'll go park in a parking lot near some restaurants. I'll park in a whole row where there's no cars. And within minutes, cars start parking up next to me, even though I'm far away from any restaurant. I might be in the back of the lot. It's pretty strange, but I'll make another video on that. Anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, well, you know, as, as far as discernment goes, you can be near someone and feel their energy, at least for me, good and bad. And sometimes it's so dark and nasty, you want to separate yourself physically from that person. Okay, can I see people more for what they really are instead of being deceived? Yeah, that kind of re relates to the last question. You now can see the Jezebel spirits and women. And that is, you can see the, the, the men. You can feel their energy and tell if they're godly or not. It's almost... Like you can just feel their, I don't know, energy, vibration, aura, dark versus light. You can see the truth, I guess, is what it is. The truth is revealed to you, to your spirit, guys. I don't know what else to say about that. Um, next question. Is my life overall better now than before I was retaining? Yes. If I just think about it in a general sense, it is better. Even though no girlfriend, no companionship, no sex, it is better spiritually. I feel pure and clean. And my energy is now all to myself. When you have a girlfriend, you, you're giving so much energy to her. At least I was. Not only are you giving her your physical sexual energy but you're giving her emotional energy just being around her and my ex-girlfriend was an energy vampire she sucked and drained me physically emotionally and spiritually okay what's the next question do people notice me and stare at me more yes so Maybe people can feel your energy, but you'll get a lot more stares from men and women. You walk into a establishment, people are going to notice you. You're not going to be invisible. They will see you and notice you and look at you. Don't know what else to say. It's as simple as that. <clears throat> Has my attitude and state of mind changed? Yes. I feel more hopeful more peace, more joy, and less worried. But also, on the flip side, guys, that doesn't mean all of the negative emotions go away. I still get, I'm human, I still get bouts of depression or anxiety or worry about the future. Those will still be with you, but less than they were. Less than they were. And back to the Corvette, I've become a minimalist, you guys. Everything I own is in a 600-square-foot, one-bedroom condo. And there's a few things in my garage, but not much because I have to park my car in there. So you start wanting less things. You're just... When I had this remodel done in December... When I moved everything back into the condo, half of it went away to the thrift store and the trash. And I still have a few things that have some value that I'm selling and getting rid of. So I'm in a tiny little condo and there's not much here. So yeah, I sold the Corvette. I've got one very economical car. And my physical possessions are all in here and I could probably be moved and gone and put everything in a four by six storage locker in, a, in one day. So, 
Guys, that's it. 180 days retaining. Six months. My first attempt. I'm proud of myself. But let's close by saying I haven't experienced intense benefits like some of these other YouTubers say they have. It amazes me. They retain for 30, 40, 50 days and they have, it seems like, superhuman powers. No, but it could be due to my age. For me, it's just a more slow, gradual change. It's not intense and immediate. It's just a, a slow evolution. And it's a, a slight, a slightness is, I don't know, is that a word? Slightness? <laughs> um, a gradual improvement? Nothing like, I'm not like Superman, but I am better off. So that's what I got to say for my six month update. I hope I helped you guys out. Love you guys. I'm praying for you guys. Continue. Continue to walk in the light as God is in the light and have fellowship with one another and let the blood of Jesus, his son, purify you from all sin by walking the semen retention journey, putting away the lust, the darkness, and other spirits of darkness. Put away the lying, the cheating, the murder, the adultery, the idols, the greed, envy, drunkenness. Put it all away and walk in the light, guys. Love you guys. Praying for you guys. Have a great Saturday.